What's up, my fellow devs, and welcome back to the Dev Shop. So we're going to talk about getting our project set up and started, and go from there. So as you can see, we here we are here in the Setup Assistant. Now, when you first install Lumberyard, when you download it from the website, you install it. You're going to have three programs on your desktop: the Setup Assistant, your Project Configurator, and the Editor. This is the Setup Assistant. This is where you set up all your files, download the necessary libraries and SDKs, and all that. So as you can see here, we have our run your game project, editor and tools, game code, engine and asset pipeline, and the lumberyard editor and tools checked. Make sure you have all five of these checked. If you're going for mobile, then of course you're going to add Android devices and that'll probably be a separate video if you guys request that if any of you are developing for mobile. For your Visual Studio version, most likely you should be using 2017. When you first open this program, 2015 is going to be checked. Uncheck that and make sure you check 2017. Once you have that, you want to go to next and you're gonna have your required software. A lot of these are going to be red with an X and it's gonna have an install button. Click those, make sure you install everything that you need. For me, the quick way to do this was since I use multiple engines, I installed Unity first. Unity comes with Visual Studio Community 2017 pre-installed when you install an engine. So that takes care of mostly everything for me concerning Lumberyard when I do that. And of course you install WISE for authoring our audio. And of course you install the WISE authoring tool for our audio, uh, FMPEG, and SpeedTree. If you got in on the beta for SpeedTree 8.1, uh, you still have access to that and you should be good to go. Next, we have our required SDKs. It's a simple button, just hit install all and it takes care of that for you. And that's everything that you would need. If you hit next again, that's going to go over optional SDK. So if you have the Photoshop SDK, which you can download for free. And if you have, you know, Maya and Max 2017, 2016 and so forth, you can do that. Uh, Clang, it's going to be an install button. If you want to install that, uh, go ahead and do so. And of course the uh, physics SDK, Gonna definitely need that so install that and wait for these two to turn green once you have that we can go to the next summary and we can go ahead and configure our project we don't want to launch editor we want to configure project so as you can see here we have a couple of projects already pre-installed for us notably the samples project and the starter game I created a personal project here which is my default but if you're just installing the engine, you're probably gonna have the starter game checked. You can see that I have it set as default. It's unhighlighted. If I was to click, click on the starter game, you see that it's highlighted and I can set that now as default. If I go back to Project Metal and set that as default, you have gems and gems are a distribution workflow that is used in Lumberyard for sharing projects, sharing assets, creating different assets, so to make a note here, I recommend that when you create a brand new project that you enable every gem that you think you're going to need beforehand. Because if the gem has code and assets, the main thing being code, you're going to have to recompile that project every time that you add a new gem. So go through all of the gems and see what you want to use, what you're going to need. If you're not using any cloud, don't worry about that. But you're going to use things like, well, of course, my two box, of course, that you can find on Gumroad for a dollar or so if you want to support the channel. Uh, motion effects and the game effects system and so forth. All of these things are needed. So go through that list and enable everything that you need. All right. So let's go ahead and go back out of that. Now, once you do that, you're going to have to compile the engine. So if I was to bring up the engine folder, You'll see we have Lumberyard, we have third party dev. We need to go into the dev folder. And the easy way to get to your command line from this folder is to go up here, type in CMD, and now you have your command line directed at that folder, and now you can run your LumberWAF configurations. So I personally recommend that when you create a brand new project, just compile the engine because that's going to take forever within itself. If you don't do that, 
you're going to compile the engine and the project and its necessities, which is going to take even longer, which is why a lot of you guys get hung up for hours on end, especially if you have like a low to mid tier system, like I do. And the first thing that you're going to run is lumberyard, sorry, lumber underscore waf configure. You're going to let that run. I'm not going to run it because I've already done it. Once that's complete, you're then going to compile the engine before creating any project. Now, if you're like me and you're working out of the starter game, or the samples project then you're all good to go those are already pre-compiled for you so you just have to open those up in the editor and work from there and I actually kind of recommend that for you guys if you're just testing out the waters and testing out the engine don't go through the stress of trying to build a project and wasting hours when you're just going to play around with the engine you use something that's already ready for you but back on track once you run the lumber waft configure you want to build the engine so you're gonna need to do build underscore win underscore 64 for your windows architecture underscore vs 2017 for your visual studio version profile dash p all now this compiles the whole engine for you which is what you want to do now depending on your system this can take anywhere from an hour to three or four hours and from here you're pretty much good to go and when you have to recompile the engine whether you're adding a gem or whatnot after the fact you're going to run it with spec dash p game and that's going to give you a faster compiling because it's only going to compile the changes that was made within your project but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments let me know down below if anything that you guys didn't understand or need me to go back over or you want to do a follow-up video on some missing information let me know in the comments don't forget to join the discord if you guys have any questions that you want to reach me in a more expedient nature do that on discord if you guys want to show support to the channel you guys can check out my patreon there's also my gum road and, and paypal and all that good stuff other than that hope you guys are having a very dope day hope you guys are prospering your projects and until next time, keep developing.